Hi, I'm Keith Confer from Delphi uh, Technologies. I'm an engineering manager in the Advanced Systems Group, and today we get to drive our intelligent driving vehicle on the test track at Kettering University. We haven't been able to show this to the public yet, but uh, you get one of the first rides. Come on along as we get in the car. Up in the driver's seat, we'll give you a, a taste of intelligent driving. Yeah, we've got a, a course laid out here that would uh, represent uh, what you'd like to have as your daily commute. It's very short, obviously, because this is just a short demo. It'll take about two minutes, okay. but it'll show some of the uh, aspects of a normal drive. So what we'd like you to do is uh, first you're going to drive the route, okay? Mm -hmm. This is an engineering development vehicle. This is a working platform. This is not uh, a show car or anything. So we're going to have you do things that more like an engineer would do it than the end user. Uh, one of those things is uh, there's a red button over there on the left uh, by your uh, left foot there. Oh, okay. um, and you will have, when you're engaged, you'll just have that uh, pressed down, okay? okay? It's a dead man switch. It's, uh, that sounds a lot worse than it is. It just keeps the system engaged uh, and, uh, and active, okay? That's not something that the end user would, would need to worry about. Sure. Once we engage this, it'll be similar to cruise control. We're going to use those same buttons. You'll have set and resume that you're going to be dealing with. Set will uh, activate the system, and uh, the, the blue D will come on when the system is activated on the dash there. Okay. Uh, and then when you come to a stop, which you're going to do, you're in control of the vehicle, so you're steering and braking. But once you come to a stop at the stop signs, you'll release the brake fully, and then you'll hit resume as if traffic is cleared and you tell the system it's time to go, okay? okay? You'll do that at each one of the stops. Other than that, the system will control your throttle, so it'll control for all speed limits and, and uh, hill climbs and all those types of things. So are we ready with the... The yeah. system is it active? So you can grab the tablet that is in the dash? Oh yeah, uh, if you could hand me the tablet. Uh, again, the propulsion system has different modes that it can go into. And here where engine is idling, so it says engine idle. But this will toggle through some of the different things. Regenerating the, hy the hybrid system, uh, using the internal combustion engine only, using some of the, the battery power. So it'll show some of the different modes that this is optimizing as we go. Okay, uh, let's line up, which is uh, if you uh, release braking. the parking brake, put it in drive, and then we'll come up into this uh, uh, short chute here. Um, yeah, put on the brake there, and then uh, come up and uh, kind of stage in where the big cones are, and the double sets of cone is your stopping point. Okay. That's, that's our staging area. So we're heading this start. way? Yep, come straight Bye. ahead, straight ahead. Okay, and just line up in here and then stop with the front bumper kind of where the double sets of cones are there. Okay, now what you're going to do is you're going to go forward um, and uh, to that stop sign and then you're going to hang a left out onto the track and you're going to loop around. Okay. You're going to take the inner circle and then you're going to go the outer circle and then we're going to come back here. We've got a map that, uh, that uh, I can pull up for you here if you want to see that real quick. Okay. So here's our course that we're gonna we're gonna drive. So you're gonna you're gonna take off. We're we're staged here now. You're gonna come up, make a left, go around the outer loop, come on the inner loop. There'll be a stop sign. Then you'll go up and around, and then come straight through, and then we'll have like a parking lot maneuver at the end. Okay. Um, so yep. this one is just gonna be you driving. Okay. Okay. We're gonna take some data on that too, but uh, just drive it as if you were in normal driving mode. And uh, whenever you're ready, and uh, try and obey the posted speeds if possible. <laughs> okay, straight up to the stop sign here. And then come to a normal stop. So you're coming out of your uh, subdivision. Okay, now you're going to hang a left and go out onto the track itself. Posted speed is 45. Just accelerate as if you normally would on the 45 here. Track goes off to the left there, and then there's a 30 mile an hour just before the hill. So as you come up on that turn, that's a 30 mile an hour uh, turn. And then 
come up, come up the incline, which the system, the intelligent drive system, knows about terrain, knows about inclines, knows about speed limits, uh, traffic lights it can communicate with. We're at 45 speed limit now. And we'll be going to the left here uh, on this first loop. So go to the left at the 25 mile an hour speed limit, and that slows you to 25. And there's a stop sign coming up. So just come to a normal stop there. And the speed limit after that is 25 until you hit that 44. Oh. Okay, and then accelerate. Get 25 mile an hour zone. And then we get back up onto the 45 here. Around. View of Flint there. And then here's the uh, 30 mile an hour turn again on the incline. The system can take advantage of the incline and decline to the hybrid balancing between electric and fuel as we use that okay here's 45 now this time you're going to go straight through and you'll see a line towards that stop sign just follow those cones on through and come to a normal stop at that stop sign okay now you're going to do a, just a parking lot maneuver to the right Typical 15 mile an hour kind of limit up until we hit that stop sign, and that's the uh, uh, end of the uh, experience here with you driving. Okay, so that's that's our uh, our demo. Yep. Uh, it's about two minutes long. Now we're going to do the exact same thing, only this time we're going to engage intelligent driving. So why don't you uh, come around and uh, get in the staging area there again? If you want to uh, hang on to that and shoot that some if you'd like, that's, uh, that shows the different modes that the propulsion system can be in and what we're choosing to have it in. Okay, now you're going to want to uh, put your foot on that switch over there, mm -hmm. like an old dimmer switch, and keep it pressed the whole time. If you release it, again, it's not part of the uh, production experience, this is, you're playing engineer here. Okay. If you need to move your seat up a little bit, yeah, you're more have comfortable. To, so. It's on the right right on your right leg there. Oh. Okay. Just a little bit of an orthodox position. Yeah, so. <laughs> we didn't change that. Um, okay, so you ready, Karim? No. Okay. He's talking to the car right now. Again, in, in the trunk we have a uh, development controller uh, to do this work. It's much bigger than the production controller would be, but Delphi makes controllers. We make the engine controllers, transmission controllers. Um, but the propulsion controller is what we're talking about for this, which will be a supervisory type controller for all these different things, uh, the different uh, parts of the electrical, uh, internal combustion and things. Right now it's a development piece that we have. We do have some in production, but we're working on much higher levels of those. So we're going to do a small engineering stuff before starting, so give me just some gas. We we're going to put it in now. break. Or, or park okay. and foot on the brake. We're in park right now. And then so. uh, rev so the engine to about, okay. about 2,500. You can release the pedal or the, the button okay. over okay. there okay. and put your foot on the brake. Okay. okay, now accelerate to about 2,500 RPM. On park? Yeah, just sitting here. Um, what we're doing here is we're just prepping the uh, battery. We're just prepping the battery, so we're charging it up so that we have consistent battery before. So this is the 48 volt. It's a pr uh, prototype mild hybrid system. So we just want to make sure that we have a decent state of charge. Okay. 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 Yeah. okay. Foot on the uh, on the button. The button. Drive. Okay. Put it in drive. Yeah. And uh, press set. Set once there. In is the blue D should be lit. Uh -huh. And uh, the tablet change also intelligent driving is dark blue now. So now it's now you're now the system's engaged. Okay. So. When you when you click a follow ball, release your foot from the brake and press resume. Press resume. Press resume. Okay. You're in. Okay. And then come to a stop, right? You but other than that, um, you, you have, have to brake. control the gas. Yes. Oh wow. Okay. That is completely different. <laughs> <laughs> okay. And then uh, when you're ready to go left, release completely the brake and okay. hit resume and make your left turn. Now it'll, it'll know the speed limits as we go to them, so it knows this is 45, it knows that the hill is coming up, it knows that it's going to reduce to 30 miles an hour. Okay. So it will react accordingly and it'll 
and switch modes as we do those things and take advantage of those different opportunities. Okay. So now it, it should slow up a little bit because it knows the 30 mile an hour curve is coming up. And to let people know I am not, I do not have my foot on the gas right now, so. Okay, and then it'll speed up at 45 miles an hour. And again, you're, you, you're not uh, doing any of that, right? Mm -hmm. You're still responsible for braking. Mm -hmm. Okay, this is our first loop, so we go to the left and it'll reduce speed for 25. Come to a stop as you normally would for the stop sign here. I don't, I don't know if you notice, but on the tablet you are charging before hitting the brakes, so you don't have to brake or recharge. Oh, okay. okay, now look for cross traffic, release the brake, and then hit resume when you're ready. Our only cross traffic here would be the seagulls. But <laughs> okay, so it's 25 mile an hour, so it'll, it'll go up to that speed. The 45 is here, so it's going to accelerate up to the, the higher speed. It knows that the 30 is here, so it might not even get up to 45, right? Yeah, it's about 31 miles an hour right now. So now we're going up and around the 30 mile an hour curve. Approaching the 45 and a downhill, so you should see some switching mode there. Now it's going to 45 mile an hour, and keep going straight and aim for that stop sign and you're responsible for the stops. Okay, so you've arrived at your at the uh, Flint Journal parking lot here, and now you're going to move to your uh, VIP parking spot up there as employees of North. Up and to the right. Parking lot speed, see, uh, through here. Fantastic. We're ready to have another engineer on, yeah. on board here, right? a test driver. So. Uh, put it in park. With a paper and so if you can give, you, give us your name and then we can uh, realign the data with your name. We know you drove that one. Okay. There's a panel there too. All right. Anything else you wanted to say to our audience at home? No, I, again, I hope you enjoyed a, an early preview. Uh, this is a peek at what the engineers are doing at Delphi Technologies on what we're, we call intelligent driving. Um, we hope you're driving it soon. When you say early previews, do you, uh, I guess at what time would p people potentially see this in vehicles? And production actually will be 2022, 2023 uh, before you'd be able to buy it at, uh, you know, as an option on your car. Yep. But and it is leveraging current technologies. What we're trying to do is there's a lot of sensors out there for safety and convenience. Mm -hmm. So a lot of that hardware is on your car already. We're just trying to use it the data that's already there and let the propulsion system know what's coming up. Any chance you can show us what the uh, trunk space looks like? As yeah, we far can. As it, yeah. It, uh, we'll we can walk show inside. you on the, the black car, yeah, sure. definitely. And I, we can walk you through that. I did have a question as well, you know, being here at Kettering University using their test track, yeah. um, what kind of partnership is there currently, you know, between Kettering and Delphi and, and you, you know, uh, working on this type of technology? We've got multiple students at Delphi Technologies, actually globally. Um, we've got two students here today. Uh, one is from the Michigan area and, and one is from Mexico. Uh, we've got some on work uh, right now. Uh, one's in China, uh, another one's in uh, Michigan. And uh, none of them are working on this particular project at this time. But we do have students from other universities that are an integral part of this project right now. So yeah, we work very closely with Kettering. And how important is that technology? I know there's a lot of discussion about STEM technology nowadays and oh, utilizing yeah. it at earlier ages. If you can talk about that a little bit. And, oh, it's, and what it means STEM to is, is huge. Uh, it's, it's what we live for, right? What we do. And it's what enables these types of things, right? Uh, and the opportunities are, are out there, uh, as Mary described. I mean, the, the future for the automobile is huge, and the, the changes that are coming up are unbelievable. I've been in this for decades, uh, a little over uh, three decades now, and the changes in the next five or ten years will be more than I've witnessed in those 30 years of, of my career so far. So it's, it's really exciting to be working on this stuff. And, and if somebody's interested in it, it's not just the math and science that you may be trudging through in the classroom. You get to get out here and do this type of stuff on test tracks and programming vehicles. It all comes together with engineering. So STEM is, I mean, ask an engineer about STEM and we'll go on and on. Yeah. <laughs> so well, let's right. walk in and uh, check right. out the inside. Sounds good. Thank you. Uh, you yep.
Okay, let's uh, let's take it. Nope. Yep. 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 Yep.